Day three of our trip, we are in Lassen Volcanic National Park, and we are on a hike right now. We just passed Emerald Lake, and it's absolutely beautiful here right now. It's about 10 a.m., 50 degrees, and I'm happy. This is in Lassen Volcanic National Park, which is known for having some of the most prominent hydrothermal vent activity in the Cascade Mountains. You can find a lot of cool plants here, such as the famous Ponderosa Pine, a few different kinds of fir tree, and the Manzanita, which is growing right down there. Absolutely beautiful. Summit Outlook. So we are nearing the most prominent hydrothermal vents in the park and it appears that we are in a caldera. Um, really, caldera is the top of a volcano that's been blown out. and You can kind of tell that there's a mountain ridge all the way around us. but a depression that's been blown out in the very middle. This area in the middle still links to underground magma chambers that boil groundwater. It gives us these cool little steam shows you're about to see here in about a minute or two. So here we are at of the outlooks that looks out on all the hydrothermal vents here and I think we got really lucky because it's aside from four or five people here today it's completely empty um, you can see the ground is stained yellow with sulfur and the scent of hydrogen sulfide is very strong in the air so especially when you walk through the steam, you get that very distinct rotten egg smell. <laughs> and fortunately I'm not starting to smell like it yet, but it's an absolutely stunning spectacle. It makes me think how indigenous peoples viewed this place. What, what did they think caused this? was discovered, discovered in 1864 by Mr. Bumpus? Bumpus. Bumpus. And it's called Bumpus Hell because, Bumpus yeah, he staked claim to this area in 1864. I guess that was still legal back then. Um, and he famously fell into one of these pools that were about 220 degrees Fahrenheit and ended up losing his leg in the process. Which might be a good thing because he had planned on developing this area as a tourist attraction and mining it for sulfur. And while it is a tourist attraction, it's protected and we're thankful that we don't have to deal with snobby tourists. Every minute or so, you can hear a very strong thump. You can almost feel it in your chest. Um, and I think it's that vent in particular it keeps spewing pieces of rock and mud. I don't know, I think they call that tephra. You can see it off in the distance, making a little mud volcano but you can feel it in your chest, you can feel it in the ground. This place is very, very geologically active. It's kind of scary, but definitely awesome. Let's get closer. Here we are in the belly of the beast, so to speak. So, this whole area is pockmarked with 
all these little depressions spewing steam out of them. Some of them come and go with the wet and dry season. I'm told that when it rains here and when there's really rainy years, this place really steams. And that some steam vents go away, some new ones are formed. So this is a rapidly changing landscape. And for that reason, it's incredibly important not to walk off of this boardwalk here. Otherwise, you'll end up like Mr. Bumpus. Straight ahead, you can see what I was pointing at earlier. And if you get lucky, you'll see some bits of mud shooting out of that. And that seems to be the most active vent down here. And hopefully we'll get a closer look here in a second. Oh, it looks, looks like it's as close as we're going to get. Right up ahead. It is very tempting to stick my hand and my finger in this for some horrible reason. I blame human nature. But it would be incredibly stupid and juvenile to do so. Those are two things I can be from time to time. I'm not that stupid. At least not right now. Can you hear that sound? You can feel it in your chest. Let's get a better look. Oop. God, I want to jump off this and go look up there. It's just not safe. What kind of example would I do? Here is what I suspect is going to be the best view you're going to get of the most active vent. Let's see if we can get some ejections. Oh, that sound. There's one. It's mesmerizing. Kind of like staring at a fire. Incredible. So I lied earlier when I said that was the best view. This is actually the best view, and it actually gives you the best sense of the sound this thing makes. Kind of creates a little amphitheater and reflects all the sound in our direction. It's bizarre because you can hear this from the entrance of the park. I thought it was construction. <laughs> so we've made it to the easternmost extent of the caldera. And I'd say that was a really easy hike. Yeah, it was it was a good hike. It was really easy. Most people could do it. I'd say almost anyone could do it. Um, just taking a rest here, soaking it in. Yeah, it's so beautiful. It really is. Let's give everyone a better look. There's a little chipmunk running around. Yeah, there's chipmunks everywhere. My wife is fawning over them. <laughs> looks, don't quote me on this, but this really looks like chert here, which is, behaves a, a bit like obsidian. It chips, like like obsidian and indigenous peoples used to make primitive weapons out of them. Here, take a look. Spin around, soak it in.
Thanks for joining us on this hike. Heading back to the car, I'm just reflecting on how beautiful it is and what an opportunity it is to see something like this. I think it's important to remember that natural geologic gems like this exist in the United States and we're so incredibly lucky to have access to natural wonders like this. Especially during the pandemic that's going on right now. It's important to remember that even though we can't fly, a lot of this stuff is in our own backyard. You can just hop in the car and go see it. Very thankful to have that.